Okay, I'm working on the upper arch. There is an abscess between the incisor and the eye tooth. On the other side, between the eye tooth and the bicuspid, there's also some stuff in there. Plus, I'm getting sort of a general feeling of unease in there. These molars are very compromised. So my thinking is that this area between the bicuspid and the eye tooth, that's the weak link. And I think there's a good chance there's an abscess in there. And I've tried to get this before, but the area is not that accessible. This is a model. The incisors, where it meets with the bicuspids, you'll see it forms almost like a triangle in there with a convergence. So with the abscess up here on the incisor, the bicuspid's not that far away. I'm going to try to go in there and do everything I can. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to do a better job this time than I was last time. I'd like to try to do something comprehensive if I could. If I do this mental thing right there, my objective is to clear in between the bicuspid and the eye tooth. And I'm going to use this Montana Jack, which is a sickle. I'm going to try to do this flanking strategy. I've been doing it all along, but, but I think I've gotten more, more disciplined about it. If I can get in there and I can find a line, I might be able to clear a line that I wasn't so able to clear before. I can start from the front, and I can try to sweep down, sort of like this. Let's give that a try. Also, this hurts for some reason. There may be some deficiency in the root. But even if there is a deficiency, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to degrade. And it turns out these glycosphids are very tight, is one of the issues. Everything is just real tight. So what I'm going to try to do is slow down. See if I can find a, like a chink in the armor, then I can dismantle the whole thing. So it's hard to say what's going on here. I've been here before. What I have in mind this time around is to attempt to go for some depth also to hang out a little bit more and then if I get blood just hang. The other thing is that when I hang out with the curette it tends to become more open. So I'm going to try this one. Again I'm going to try to come around from the front because this area is easier to access than the back. I'm going to try to go for depth. I would say it's close to 100% that there's something in there. And it could be something fairly serious. Also, I cleared out this bicuspid from this side. Actually, a lot. This was about a year ago. A lot of it I did with the needle. One other thing. This bicuspid has two roots. Right between the root is very dicey. There's a furcation in there. There's stuff in the furcation. There's a likely abscess. But there's also very likely calculus ledges in there that I have not gotten before. So I want to get to the calculus ledge, which I'm assuming is there. In the furcation, the furcation itself may be too difficult to go after directly. But if I clean out everything except that, I can also go in with the hyaluronic acid and try to float it out. But the main thing to start is I got to get depth and I got to clear it out. That's numero uno. It's just an ongoing process because the point is not to give up too or say it's too hard. Okay, then what I do once I get the depth is I start to move the curette around. I can sort of walk it. Like this, I stick it in, and I just kind of shake it around a little bit. This will walk the curette. Okay, basically nothing. It's also possible I exhausted this angle too. I do my due diligence. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to come in from the eye tooth. I'm going to use the 3-4 Langer. It's got a little more angle to it. It could be that the eye tooth is the busier of the two. Then I come in from the back, which is harder. There still could be something in there, and I just don't get it for some reason. That's always possible as well. In which case, because this area is just very tight, very, very, very tricky. But that's usually not what happens. I always suspect I'm never going to get anywhere. And then 
I always do one way or another. And then if it's something dramatic, see, just the drama alone is enough to make a big difference because if there's a large area of crud and the area gets reduced, that's significant all by itself. And that's what I suspect. I think there's something in there that's big. It's just a question of where. And then I do my, I call it the truffle dog. Once I get the blood, I just keep following the blood. Blood leads to blood is how it works. Okay, if I don't find anything, I don't find anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. I'm sure there's something there. I'm positive. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's try the micro mini. This is a smaller curette. They may be able to slip up into these spaces. This is a gracie, so I have to angle it. Okay, yeah, it looks like this might be the one. It's, it's very small, very narrow, very tight, difficult space. So far, no blood. One little piece of crud. Let's try from the from the bicuspid side. The issue is penetration, which I, I'm not having very good luck with the universals. So I do the Gracies. Also looks like some there is some blood there from somewhere. That might be from the eye tooth. Okay, some blood. Not much. But it doesn't always take that much. I'm assuming there's a lot. I'm just assuming there's an abscess in there. Just follow the productivity. There's a smell there. I, I'm positive. That's a sign of an abscess. Try to go for depth. I really got to work on the inside too, which is exactly what I don't want to do. Again, a very small piece. A little bit of the, I call it the shaggy dog smell, which is an indicator. Okay, so it's going in deep. I also have this one here. This, this has good penetration. This is the O'Hare. It just goes straight in. This particular one happens to be long, long and straight. Getting some depth. Okay, but I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to waste my whole day here. What I'm doing is I'm looking for a good opportunity. And if I can't find it, then I'll come back. I'm going to keep going, let's put it that way, on this particular area. I'm convinced there's something in there. So I, I literally have to get proven wrong. And then in the meantime, if I only get a little bit of stuff, well, at least that's something. But I suspect there's something serious in there. Little pieces. Okay, so that's the bicuspid. Let's try the eye tooth. And this is from the outside, too. See, I could go on the inside where I don't want to go. And then there could be a piece of calculus blocking something. And you know, it's like a completely different story. There, some blood, maybe something in there. I've been in here before. This was, there's an abscess in there. Or there was, still there. So that's where I'm going to focus for now. I should be able to get some depth. There was an abscess here, more or less in this spot, about a year and a half ago. So, unfortunately, it got kind of closed off, so I wasn't able to get in there anymore. What I'm going to try to do is open up the area again with a curette. There's also going to be behind the eye tooth. There's also the question, is this the major issue? Especially since it's been cleaned already, even if it was a year and a half ago. That's one. Two, the back of the tooth is where I don't want to go. So, very likely, that's where the problem is. that part is getting overdone, but the back is getting underdone. So naturally, I'm going to start from the front, but but I have to go from the back, too. See, that makes sense. This will be an extension of the of the abscess between the incisor and the eye tooth for an adjunct, which is one of the things I'm learning about. This is the one, too. This is also the micro mini. So here's the deal. I'm behind the bicuspid. I'm conventional. I'm going to work my way forward into the abscess that I know is there. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work the adjunct to the abscess, which I, I did this before. Ultimately, everything has to get covered. But the general idea is to try to spend the time in the worst place. This is what it's looking like. The back of the eye tube hurts. I think there's an extension of the abscess that's in between there, I think it extends to the back of the eye tooth. 
but unfortunately it's very difficult to to get to I don't know what I'm gonna do very difficult to get to now what I could do is use this Montana Jack where generally where this leads to is that it's like a wall and you can't really get around the wall unless you can get an edge it's the, the flanking is what it is I'm not sure if I got the energy for this right now I wish I can get something magic to happen but somehow I can start the flank then I got the energy to keep going but I don't have the energy to just keep looking without any results maybe I can try it from the eye to side in the back I think that might be the answer Montana Jack I to approach from the back into the area that hurts try to get to the flank presume there's a ridge there basically between this this eye tooth and the bicuspid behind the tooth it hurts so that's an indication there's something going on back there unfortunately it's sort of like a wall and I can't seem to find uh, a place to get in there and open it up but what usually happens is once I start to dismantle it then the rest of it starts to come more easily there's definitely something there but I just can't seem to get the angle to to get it to to come loose in any sort of meaningful way so what that means is that I have to try again